The last time Bill Cleese got up and made coffee in a place he could call his own was 30 years ago. In 1971, at the height of the Vietnam War, 18-year-old Cleese, a graduate from David Douglas High School, had a tough decision to make. The draft was still in force or in place. So my girlfriend, later my wife, uh, said if it's under 100, I'm going to enlist. If it's over, I'll gamble and see if I get drafted. Well, so I enlisted because my lottery number was 79 or something. It was low. After three years of service, Cleese was honorably discharged as a sergeant and launched his own business. My family looked at me as an entrepreneur, you know, if I put my mind to it, I always could accomplish whatever I set out to do. But life took a dramatic turn for the worse. My mother passed away, which knocked the wind out of me basically for 30 years. That's why I, you know, took a sabbatical. Just so recently I've decided to, you know, get back in and be the Rockefeller. My family expected me to be or want to be or can be. For 30 years, Cleese was homeless. But with the launch of Operation 420... I've heard of, of um, people getting vouchers for housing or for apartments or whatever their circumstances is. It could take up to eight years, you know. I started in February and I could have been like I, four months and here I am. Since 2011, an innovative partnership across Multnomah County has helped more than 420 veterans find homes. The program provides less restrictive vouchers, picking up the tab for costs not covered with traditional federal housing vouchers. It pays for rental application fees, transportation costs, or disposable cell phones to call landlords. Everything that a veteran would want is there at, at third note, you know? And you name it and, and they'll take care of it. Now, after three decades, Cleese has found a comfortable place, one he can call his own way happy. On, on one to ten, I'm eight or nine every night. I go to bed, you know, feeling good about what I've done. <laughs>